Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and I wanted to do a little bit of a different type of video today, just kind of running down the new DCEU slate for the new DC films. Now, of course, about, in, I think it was like October 2014, we got this really elaborate slate uh, led out by DC, and they're like, yeah, we're doing Flash and Justice League and all this great stuff. It's going to be craziness, and since then, it has changed drastically, drastically. And uh, so far, we've had three DCEU films come out, and we're getting two more this year. But just last night, it was announced that we would be getting a part one of sorts to the Shazam movie uh, with Black Adam. With Dwayne Johnson playing Black Adam, and uh, he he's going to be a, a newer, bigger thing in the DCEU. And then also, about a week ago, we got a big confirmation that they're fast-tracking Green Lantern Corps. Uh, about a month ago, we got a big announcement that David Ayer's coming back, and they're doing Gotham City Sirens, and they're doing a Deadshot movie. Then, of course, you have all these other big things going on. So there's just been a lot of things announced, so we got to go through it all to make sense of it all, because... Because there's a lot of jumbled here and there, and I'm just not seeing much progress. I'm very excited for what they're building. I just don't know when they're doing it, how they're doing it, and I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we, we get a laid out plan after Justice League. So let's just jump into this. So, coming out in June will be Wonder Woman. We know this. I've talked about this. I really enjoyed Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. That was She was probably one of my favorite parts of Batman v Superman. And uh, they announced Ares. They're doing some cool things with kind of like a, a World War I vibe. Uh, the movie looks pretty cool. And uh, it's not my most anticipated comic book of this uh, movie of this year. But uh, I, I'm, still, I'm still very much looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to I think everyone is going to introduce everyone everybody more so to the Wonder Woman name and I guess maybe even brand in this world. Then in November of 2017, of course, we're getting the big JL Justice League. Now, this is pretty cool. Also, this is actually extremely cool. Uh, we've seen some teasers. We saw a teaser trailer at Comic-Con, a bunch of pictures. We're waiting for a trailer. Uh, there, there's a lot of cool things going on. Uh, Steppenwolf's an interesting choice for a villain, personally for me. But hey, you know, it, it still looks really great. I uh, can't wait to see it happen. So that's pretty much what, what's official, right? Everything else be back behind that in 2018 to 2020 or whatever is still slightly up in the air, very much. So uh, originally in March of 2018, we were supposed to be getting the Flash movie. And because DC was having super hard difficulties making it different from the TV series, which is absolutely fantastic, and finding a director after going through three different directors, they've decided, hey, we, we, we need to take this back to the workshop, and we don't know when that movie is coming out, so we have an untitled release date uh, for that March. Then in October, I believe it's October 5th of 2018, we are getting Aquaman. Now, I am highly excited for this, super excited for this, just because it's Jason Momoa, okay? It's, he, he looks like a boss, all right? I already know he's going to be one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite character in Justice League. He is just, I am getting that vibe. Uh, we know we're getting Ocean Master, we know we're getting Black Manta, and it's supposed to have like a swashbuckler Pirates of the Caribbean vibe to it. Look, I know the Pirates of the Caribbean films, they're not the best, but for me, I have a hell of a lot of fun with them, so I, I'm looking forward to seeing that happen, plus it's James Wan, so how could you not, could you not like that? Then in 2019, in April, we were supposed to be getting our uh, Shazam film. Now, it was just, I'll, I'm going to get more into the Black Adam stuff in just a moment, uh, but it was, it was confirmed that they would be making two movies out of this character, which I think is actually a pretty good idea. Then we have a July, I believe, 4th or 9th, something like that, of 2019, and that's also an untitled release date, and then I believe there's one in late October of 2019. So, right now, so far, we have three untitled release dates between 2018 and 2019. 2020 is supposed to be Cyborg. I don't really understand why this is a necessary film. I get it. He's going to be one of the main Justice Leaguers. He, he is a cool character. I think he works better, and truly, I enjoy him the most when he's with the Teen Titans. There's just a dynamic there, and I, I don't know how, how well this character will be received. Maybe he's going to be a fan favorite. I don't know. I'm not sure, because we haven't seen Justice League yet. 
I personally don't really care that much to see a cyborg movie. I think they they have to do they have to either make it a Teen Titans movie or scrap it completely and just put cyborg within the Flash whenever they make the Flash. But we're supposedly getting that. All right, so that's everything. Those are like the confirmed movies that will be coming out. So you've got Wonder Woman, you've got Justice League, you've got Aquaman, you've got Shazam, and you've got Cyborg. So those movies are happening in those years. As far as we know, those are happening but like i said earlier we do have a bunch of new movies that have been announced within the last like six months it's a little bit uh, uh, ridiculous and a little bit irritating that dc can't figure out you know what they really want to do yet because it seems like they're just kind of writing the story as they go Whatever, I don't care. All this, all the other movies they, that I'm about to read off to you, I'm highly excited for also. There are just tons of great things going on with all of them. Um, but what we're going to talk about what's necessary and I think what is going to end up coming to fruition within this. So obviously, we'll start with the biggest one out of all of them, uh, and that would be The Batman, directed by Ben Affleck. Now, of course, we know we know what Ben Affleck's been thinking lately, how he's pissed off at the world for asking him about the movie. I, I completely respect and, and agree with him to this sense. You know, you, you, have, you have your companies like Heroic Hollywood and Variety and Collider, all of them, they, 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 or they say one word. Ben Affleck could just say the word Batman and they'd make a whole scoop. Oh my god, he said the word Batman. This means that it's coming out in 2018. Joe Mattinello said that they're filming it soon. and It's it's total bullshit. Total, all of that is total bullshit. I want to murder all those writers who are just looking for, looking for some views on their page, okay? It's total bullshit. I don't know when this movie is going to be made, but I do I do see it being a really substantial part of this next upcoming chunk of the DC movies. And I also see it, I don't know when it's going to be made. I'd say it's either going to, I think I'm going to put more money into the 2019 spot. I don't think Ben Affleck's ready to make it just yet. I know we've been saying that for years, but I don't think he's ready. I, I don't. I think there, there's still a, a big pro, pro, process and, and big, you know, thing that they've got to go through first and and then they'll do it. But Batman, I, that's that's one that we're not really sure about, but it's happening. Then another one, you've got Green Lantern Corps. They just announced Jon Stewart, Hal Jordan. Hell yeah. You know, that's awesome. That That's fun. I, I want to see the Red Lantern Corps. I want to see some Sinestro in there. Probably more Atrocitus than the Red Lanterns. But at the same time, I don't care. I don't care what they do. This sounds awesome. Green Lantern is such a rich character, and they really, they really took a big shit on him. I did. I, I talked about this last week, but they they fucking ruined the the villain of Parallax for me. Fucking hate Parallax now. Look how pissed I'm getting about about Parallax. But it's happening. Also, we're not sure when. We're not sure how. So I'm okay. So that that's another one that's kind of up in the air with Batman. Then you have Gotham City Sirens. Look, it's a it's an awesome idea. I love Harley Quinn. I love Margot Robbie. She's hot. She's a badass. She's Harley Quinn. How do you not like Harley Quinn? How do you not like Catwoman. She's also hot and a badass. And how about Poison Ivy? Also hot and a badass. How would you not want to see them all in a film together? My problem with this one is I don't see the necessity to make this. Hey, it could be a cool film. Hey, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit tired of the, the team-ups. I want to see them flesh it out. But if it's going to be uh, kind of a side story, fine. Okay, throw that in there in a 2018 but then you lay me down with Deadshot? Okay, look, look, listen to me, boys and girls. Deadshot, cool character. Will Smith, great actor. I really enjoyed Deadshot and Suicide Squad. I really enjoyed Suicide Squad. I know a lot of people didn't. I don't care. I liked it. I, I would watch a Suicide Squad too. I'd be super pumped if they did a Suicide Squad too. I don't know if they ever will. Who cares? Deadshot, a solo film? No, no chance. There are so many other characters. Hell, there's so many other villains that deserve their own standalone film. And Deadshot doesn't even make that top 10 list for me. He does, he's, again, he, he's a cool character. There's not much to him other than the fact that he's, you know, he's kind of very tortured by his the loss of uh, the, the the separation of his daughter because he can't be with his daughter. He's under Amanda Waller's thumb the whole time, and he's assassin. He's cool. He, he's a Batman villain, but he's also an antihero. And it's like, fine. What are you gonna do with him? Um, well, it's Will Smith. 
Oh my God, it's it's too much. Get rid of that one. Uh, but here's another one that's really cool for me, and that is Dark Universe Justice League Dark. This is a movie that I think is it's such a good idea. Uh, and I, I again, I know I'm tired of the team ups. But you, when you have characters like Deadman and Constantine and Zantana, Etrican the Demon and Swamp Thing, it, it's just, I, to me, that sounds really great. And I feel like, you know, especially with the movie I'm about to talk about, this could mean some really cool things just because, just because of the element of magic and how they can maybe do something interesting with the the uh, the idea of magic maybe tie that to dark side also which is something that i obviously really want to see uh another movie that is kind of again really up in the air is man of steel 2 i i, I really like henry cavill as uh as superman and i would love to see a supergirl in the brainiac i don't think this is a necessary film uh i don't i i if if, if, I, if I were dc right now i would probably scrap cyborg Man of Steel 2, or at least postpone these movies until they, ha- they, they fill it with some other characters I think are more well-deserving. Uh, I, I would postpone Man of Steel 2, Cyborg, Deadshot, and uh, let's see, and I don't know, may- maybe maybe Gotham City Sirens? I think, I'm think i pretty sure they're going to fast-track that one, but I want them to focus in on some really interesting characters, very much like Shazam and Black Adam. So Dwayne Johnson's like, hey guys, I'm Dwayne Johnson, uh, nice to meet you. I I, I'm, I'm successful. So I had a meeting with DC, and uh, well, I'm Black Adam. We, we've known this for quite a while, but now I'm getting my own film. Now, when I first read this, I, I'm like, God damn it! Because really, I'm just a little tired of DC announcing so much. But then they, you know, in a month or two, they, they pull back, right? They'll, they're like, oh, yes, we're doing, we're doing Gotham City Sirens. This is an example. I don't know if this is going to happen. We're doing Gotham City Sirens. And then, you know, two months from now, it, it comes out that Margot Robbie got, got this big, big other thing going on that, that she'd rather do and that she's more interested in. And, and then DC realizes that the script's not going to be good. And, and then they're like, oh, fine, we're not going to do that one. We're going to, I mean, I don't know. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's the attitude that my that I personally I, I'm getting off of of DC, so I, I'm like, well, why announce this when you haven't delivered really with anything other than just Wonder Woman Justice League yet? Um, but uh, then I, I thought about the comic that I absolutely adore, which probably this is one of my first uh, DC comics I started that I picked up a couple years ago. And that was Shazam, written by Jeff Johns. It's part of the Justice League of America line. It, it's a it's a f- fantastic comic, and you, they they explore Billy Best, and it it's a little bit of a darker environment, but. It, it, what it does, though, is it builds up this idea of hope. It has some elements of, of maybe what you could compare to the Doctor Strange film, uh, but it also has elements of Superman. It has elements of kind of like this this orphaned boy. Uh, I'm trying to think of like a good example, like a good orphan film. Maybe Hugo a little bit. I, I don't know if you guys saw that. Martin Scorsese, the, there's a book on it too, whatever. It, it's a really great concept. Uh, Black Adam for me, you know, I, I see this working on really well uh, I, I don't know how necessary this will be but this is all leading me to something and that is that I think Black Black Adam is one of the coolest villains in the DCEU they are doing some of the biggest and coolest villains like the Joker and maybe they do Sinestro and maybe they do Brainiac and may, you know whatever whoever they end up doing I really want them to either I want the end all be all threat not to be some big Crisis on Infinite Earth storyline, not to be some, I don't know, Earth 2 or Flashpoint or, you know, Blackest Night. While those would be fantastic stories to see way down the line when they've established this really cool universe. Like, I'm talking like 2025 Flashpoint or Blackest Night. Before all that, I just want to see a big threat like Darkseid come down and you have to unite all of the all of the heroes, or they all go to the planet of Apocalypse and fight Darkseid, or they all you know build this watchtower and Darkseid attacks the watchtower, or villains like uh, Black Adam and Black Manta and I don't know the Joker and Sinestro they form something like a, a Legion of Doom. 
or an anti or an injustice league that would be pretty cool to fight the the these this justice league that would be something different and interesting and that would it could build towards this uh, that's what i'm worried about when dc just announces movies like deadshot like who gives a shit the cyborg okay unless they're going to focus on the new gods who gives a shit uh, or to teen titans so hopefully you guys kind of get what i'm saying i think that they they have an interesting lineup and i think there's a lot to be excited for and a about, but if they can't deliver and they just keep announcing shit and shit and shit and shit and shit and then pulling back and all that shit and shit and shit and shit and then reannouncing more shit and shit and shit and shit without anything official, no logos, no writers, just names of characters, yeah, we're doing a movie, or yeah, we're, you know, cast a Billy Bastin, cast a Catwoman, cast a Poison Ivy, let's see this thing happen, I have faith, I believe in this, This I, the way I'm looking at it is that Man of Steel, Suicide Squad, and Batman v Superman, they are the prelude, they are the, the prologue, right, to this book, the book starts with Wonder Woman, and then it's gonna end with Justice League Part 2, and that's the book, okay, then you have some epilogue shit, and I don't know, I don't, what, I don't know what that's gonna be, maybe that will be some, some weird ass Deadshot movie, okay, but then you're gonna start in phase two and that's when you're able to do book two that's when you're able to do your flashpoints and your blackest nights establish shit make shit happen stop talking about shit i'm so pumped for this but it needs to happen already what do you guys think about all this or what is your idea for a lineup or or films or or what do you think the big end all threat is going to be here do you like this idea of a black adam standalone and uh how about justice league dark uh the gotham city sirens let me know thanks so much for watching and of course i'll be back with so many other great dc videos in the near future. I'm Ryder, setting off with infinite attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye! Bye.